Hey everyone, Flying Duchy here. Welcome back to Byzantium in EU4 King of King of Kings. 1.36, the patch is it, and we are going to continue this game as Byzantium. Uh, the first episode we had to do a retry, and this time we are doing a little bit better. We're still trying to get the alliance with the Pope. They need to change their, their attitude, I think, to friendly, and then I think I can get it, so let's keep trying that. And in the meantime, we are just uh, waiting for the Ottomans to declare war on us. They will do it at some point. We need to wait for that to happen. Because when they do, we can actually uh, do the thing what we want to do. Uh, they are attacking uh, Kandar at the moment. And I guess they will take Dulkadir as well. So they will be get a bit stronger. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So let's pause the video here. And the game. And let's see what I'm going to do with my other diplomats. So we are still trying to get uh, the Pope happy. Uh, we have Serbia and uh, Bosnia as our uh, allies, and I am just improving with Hungary here. And maybe we should also improve with Austria. Because I don't think there's anything else to do. Yes, we need to integrate uh, Athens and Epirus, but we can do this in 15, uh, 1454, so we do have the time. I think it's more important to make more friends. And I don't think anything else is going to happen in the meantime. I'm having a decent economy because I have everything mothballed. And yeah, we just let the game run. Yes, we could sell our land, but not gonna do this. 82 ducats is nothing compared to what we have, and it will lose our crown land. We need the crown land to add the points that I want. The mission still is here to take Arta, so we just need to uh, integrate Epirus. Until when do we have this time? It is until. I don't know. Uh, 1465. Okay, we have plenty of time for it. I could uh, improve with Epirus so that they will not be um, unhappy with me. Maybe that is actually a good idea. And just keep an eye out for the uh, for the Pope here, so that we can get the bonuses. Uh, I will just improve with Epirus for now. So this is the. Pronoyar system for Byzantium. We will give the rule to uh, of the subject to Pronoyar, who will manage the territory from now on her hereditary. Uh, they do not occupy a diplomatic diplomatic relation, and they contribute to the manpower and sailors pool of their overlords. They are inherited instead of being annexed. So yeah, we could do this, but they need the liberty desire below 15 for that. Okay, that is uh, not that easy when you're so small like us. But let's uh, keep improving. What's happening in Wallachia over here? Poland is attacking it. Okay. Come on, Mr. Pope, man. I know you want to be friendly with me. I know it. Come on. Go friendly. Let me get my alliance. You can do it. I think we're going to just pause the recording until uh, something happens. Well, we just got 50 points and I will be back when something happens. Okay, we have a new event. The Ottoman Seas Paying Tribute. Orhan Celebi is a relative of the Ottom Ottoman monarch who is currently kept in Constantinople. As part of an earlier agreement, the Sultan would pay a tribute in order to have the pretender safely kept in Constantinople. Recently though, this tribute has ceased to be paid, prompting a worrying discussion on whether to demand payment or to hold off. Remind them of their obligations. We will demand the Ottomans to pay 100 ducats to us, or else we will release him as a pretender. Or they will remain in Constantinople and we get 50 power. Well, let's try to get some money from the Ottomans. And if they don't, then they go they're gonna get a pretender. So let's see what happens. Um. They did let them try, so they are not going to pay. And that means that soon they're going to see 21,000 rebellions over here in their capital. Ottoman refusal. The vile Ottoman Sultan has refused our demands, prompting fury and panic in Basileus' court. Give them a taste of their own poison. We lose a bit of manpower, but we are sending 21 pretenders in Edirn. Or not. Let's do this. And there they are. 
But we are sending them out to uh, weaken the Ottomans a bit here. Uh, Pope man, are you finally going to be happy with me? They just need to change their attitude and we will be uh, allies. We do have the time until they declare war on us. If they declare war on us, we need to do a couple of clicks. But that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, we want to click this thing, but we want to get the alliance with the Pope, so we get the missionary, uh, I mean the mercenary uh, bonus. We will accept the marriages with uh, Serbia and uh, Bosnia. We have a bigger chance for an heir. Can I marry... Yeah, I can marry Athens and Epirus as well. We should do that, actually. We have more chance of four heirs. You have Francesca, 424. Yeah, you don't want to because you hate me. But let's keep trying. Come on, Pope Man. Just do it. Become my ally. Now, Naples also rivaled me, and we can actually rival the Ottomans. Are you crazy? Of course I will do this. Because then it makes it easier for us to get fr to become friends with the Mamluks and with Austria, so we should get the enemy of enemy bonus with these people. That is really nice. Not with Venice, right? Yeah, also with Venice, so with all their enemies, including Aragon. Um, I will just improve until it's over. That's going to be next month, I think. And we can no longer get more points with the Pope. There we go. So we're going to recall the, our diplomat over here. And I guess I'm going to send him to the Mamluks. Since we now have the enemy of enemy bonus. Maybe it's easier to get alliances with them. Yeah, even Austria. Maybe we should try Austria. Some really good bonuses there. Who else? Well, Venice is... Well... Yeah, they don't like us because of history as well. I guess we are, go we are just going to get Austria on our side and the Mamluks. Let's start with Austria. Let's see if we can do this. That would be really, really good, actually. We have a new event. Friends in need. Lose 25 admin power. Or... Broken promises. It's only about Athens, so we will do this one. And unfortunately, the Ottomans are no longer a valid rival. What a shame. Let's uh, rival Naples. And I'm actually... Yeah, that will not get our alliance anymore. I will actually embargo our rivals, so we get a bit more power projection. So, Naples... It's gonna get embargoed. We are going to rival... Karaman. And we are going to rival Genoa. There we go. Yeah, we are just waiting for the Ottomans to declare war on us, and maybe we are going to get uh, the Pope on our side so we have cheaper mercenaries, and otherwise we can't. That's just easy as that. I'm also trying to get these guys uh, to go over 50, so we can get development uh, bonuses, but it's really tough to get this loyalty up above uh, 50. We are at 40, and there is nothing I can click, really, to get this above 50. Nothing gives me plus 10, except for... Oh, the crown possession. But then we lose crown land. Hmm. We do private trade fleets, but then we have no slots available. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think we can get the uh, the burgers, the emporoi, uh, very happy, unfortunately. Now, what I should have done, now I think about it, is a rival, the same rivals as the Pope. So, I could rival Venice. And if I rival Venice, I would be able to get more opinion with the Pope. So, let's do this. 
I should not have picked Naples, um, but I can change this rival on the 11th of November 1949, so that is almost there. And is it costing anything? Let's see if it's going to cost me something for next month. And then I will cancel the one with, I guess, Karama. Okay, you can come back. We have plenty of relations there. Okay, can I just change the rivals? Yes, I can, actually. What is this? And I can seize land again. So I think I'm going to uh, cancel the one with Karama and do Venice instead. Oh. It costs 100 Diplo points. Really? Well, let's do it anyway. I think I'm going to do it. Yes, it costs points and I will stop the embargo here, of course. And then hopefully we can become friends with the Pope. Here, there we go. They already feel a lot better about me. Now, let's see if they are going to... Uh, change their opinion to me too friendly. I really hope so. Because I really want the alliance. <laughs> oh, and uh, the Ottomans are killing the uh, pretenders. They are done with the war, so... They are going to prepare for the next war. And there is the Renaissance. And luckily it is spreading in Constantinople, I think. Yeah. Because we have 20 development. And we will have events to do this quicker as well. Now, come on, Mr. Pope. What is your problem? Why are you not friendly? Give me your alliance. I want it. I could seize the lands, but then we lose a lot of uh, loyalty. But I think we want to do this. We're going to make these guys very angry, but let's go for it anyway. Uh, before I do, let's uh, crick up the maintenance, because we are going to get some rebels. Yeah, there we go. We are fighting them. Done. And we have a new heir, and uh, Johannes sucks. And I cannot dismantle our heir, because we, have, we don't have any prestige. <laughs> it's just so bad. Why do I always have a bad start to any, any run I do? Why is that always a thing? Okay, now I know that we have enough points. We could spend 10 crown land. To get the points. So I guess we're going to go with the military point. Done. So we have an extra military point. Now we have eight. And we can use that to uh, get better. We have the Rumelisi castle. Why are we losing stability gain? The construction of the castle will take less than a year and will provide the following for the Ottomans. RIP. Now luckily it's still cheap to uh, get more stability, but uh, what a horrible event that was. Can I marry you? I cannot marry you. Do you finally like me? You still don't like me. Come on, Pope. What is your problem? Okay, the Ottomans are over here. I don't trust this at all anymore. And I think I have to uh, give up on the Pope ally situation. Oh! There we go, we got it. How did that happen? What, what changed? I don't know, but we can get the alliance with the Pope out of nowhere. Yes, we have enough. We have too many relation slots, I know, but that is not a big deal. And now we have the alliance with the Pope. We can click this thing here. And we will get mercenary cost minus 15% for 15 years. And we will get morale of armies. And we get permanent claims on all kinds of regions. And now we can also complete the false despots because we have uh, a vassalized Epirus. 
And since we vassalized it, we get the second uh, bonus. We get 75 Diplo power and we get a core on Celaphonia. Done. Now the next one is to recover Magna Grecia. So then we are going on a conquest in Italy. And that is going to happen after we are done with the Ottomans, really. Uh, I am going to complete this because I think the Ottomans are going to attack soon. So what are we going to do here? I am going to get my base manpower to 4 in Corinth and get a military advisor. That is this province, so we need to spend 130 military points. Maybe 120 with the edict. Let us first maybe get the military technology. If I can. It's going to be uh, difficult, but let's see if I can. And that are the only things I need to do before we are going on conquest. So we need to do this one. And then we can do this one. If I do it with the mercenary companies, we will get even 20 years minus 10 mercenary cost and discipline. So they will become very cheap. And I will do it with the mercenaries. So we are absolutely going to get the three mercenary companies. Yeah. I'm not going to upgrade the wall. I'm not going to spend my money on a wall that is not going to stop the Ottomans. So we are going to do it with the uh, mercenaries. Now what is my force limit? So we have 12 now, right? So I could already hire one of them. We have the free company here, which is going to be super cheap, the free company. So let's uh, hire these ones already, if they are in the field. We will be one over. And we are actually going to get rid of one cavalry to make up of this. There we go. I think they are very cheap per. The maintenance is 0 0.09 and the normal infantry is 0 0.22. So that is some really cheap mercenaries. Uh, we have the Hajduks over here. With a 6 shock general and a 2... Oh, we want you guys as well. So I'm going to hire these as well, I think. And then change four of my regular troops out. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. There they come. Are the Ottomans still at my border? No, they are walking away again. Really? Now we are making money because the mercenaries are already cheaper. Are the, are the Hajduks also cheaper? They are the same price as normal troops, so that is really interesting. Do we have more cheap mercenaries? No, the rest is normal. Except for these ones, these are way too expensive. One of these three. They all two, three. I guess I'm gonna go with this one. And I guess we're gonna f fully rely on mercenaries. I get rid of my normal troops. And then I think, after we have this one, we are actually going to uh, try to develop the province. Uh, what is my other? Diplomat gonna do. We can get a marriage with uh, Hungary. And then I think that we maybe are able to get an alliance over there. That would be really cool. Let's improve your view for now. Nope. Not gonna lose any stability and let's get rid of our own troops here. So we could just complete this thing because we have all the mercenaries now. 
Question is, what do I want first? The technology or upgrade? I think technology. Does technology uh, change your mercenary as well? Or did I just make a mistake? This mercenary company costs no force limits. Uh, is level 3. Can I see your technology level? Don't think I can, right? At least I don't see it. Ottomans declared war on Karaman. Okay, they are really going not after us. They are going to do other stuff. Well, let's get the 60 power so we can quickly do this. I think my units are still level 3. That is a bit meh. I wonder if I would declare war, will they all help me? They are in debt, yeah, because they gave me their money. Yeah, they really don't want to help me. I need to wait for the Ottomans to declare war on me. They're gonna do it when they have everything occupied already. Yikes. Uh, we can get a marriage now, right? Yes. There we go. Let's also improve with Athens so that we can actually annex these uh, countries for ourselves. And I guess we are just going to do the mission here. And the Ottomans are also level 4, so we don't have an advantage. So the goal is to get two more development in Corinth. Let's use the Edict here. More development. Okay, we need 58. Then we can do another click. And then the fort in Morea will go away. Ottomans tell us of the castle that is finished. Okay, need to wait two more months. We do have some rebels here. Done. Oh yeah, and we need to um, have a military advisor. Well, we can take it for a little bit. I guess we are going with the fort defense. There we go, and then we can complete this one. The Hexamillion Wall. The Six Mile Wall at the Isthmus of Corinth has been in continuous maintenance. Defy the Ottomans, reconstruct the wall. So we will we'll get our castle in Corinth, and we get a decision, rebuild the wall. Allowing us to fortify the province of Corinth. Or not. And then the Theodosian walls will be cheaper in Constantinople. No, I will do this one. I will build that wall. So now we have a fort over here. And we do have a new decision to rebuild the Hexamillion wall that is over here. But once again, it costs 100 ducats and it only gives a small bonus that is not going to stop the Ottomans. I am not going to build it. And I need to fire this uh, advisor because it's way too expensive. Oh, we have a new general. Did we lose our good general? Maybe we did actually. What a shame. It's going to be really difficult to get uh, to, to do it with normal alliances. Oh yeah, and let's get rid of the edict. I don't think we can get rid of it right now. And there is a new pop-up that tells you that you can revoke edicts. So that is really good. I also don't need a general. 
And since we have complete this, we can now also do defense in death. And because we have uh, three mercenary companies, and because we did this, and we did it the mercenary way, the mercenaries will become 10% cheaper and they get 5% more discipline. Nice. We have these uh, extras over here. And then we did everything we need to do. It is just waiting now for the Ottomans to declare war on us. And that is what we are waiting for. Um, I guess I am just going to... Why am I... Losing money. I don't know. I guess I can't do anything about it. Uh, let's wait for the Ottomans to declare war on us. They should do it after Karaman, I think. So uh, I see you soon. And the Ottomans are still not going after us. They are going after Trebizond first. Which should be go very quickly. So we have to wait even longer. In my test run I was already declared twice. So uh, let's see how long this is going to take. And I have some good news guys. We can get an alliance with Hungary. If we marry them we can actually ally them. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe we can actually do this whole thing without going the complete Pope way. But let's get the alliances when we can. Yes, we will have enough too many relations, I know. But let's just keep them. Let's get the alliance with Hungary here. I still think we just need to wait for the Ottomans to declare war on us. I was actually expecting them to do it when they... Uh, put their troops over in uh, Tirala. But they are just not going to do it. For some reason. Can I get other alliances? Can I get an alliance with Austria? Maybe. What about Poland? No, because you're rivaled with Hungary. So we cannot get you. You are under, uh, under Poland, so I cannot get you. What about the Mamluks then? Maybe we can actually get the Mamluks on our side. And what about uh, Kara Koyundu? Let's improve with them as well. See what happens. And in the meantime I keep uh, Im improving with Athens. So we can integrate Athens um, in a couple of um, years. How long do we need for them to annex them? Oh, I'm the wrong. There, I need to go here. Yeah, June 54 and you, December 55. Let's make sure that we can actually annex them by getting enough relations. I think that is very important. And I'll be back when something happens. And we have a new event. Byzantine merchant evade taxes. Frustrated by having to pay full commer co coin. A 10% customs tax in Constantinople. Many Byzantine merchants have taken the route of shrewd tactic of employing the help of Latin merchants who are exempt from the tax in order to evade it, severely harming our finances. Many Byzantine traders regularly complain about the unfair treatment and lack of protectionism. Crack down on the practice. We gain money, but my uh, burgers get uh, even less loyal, and we get an extra penalty for the estate privilege. Grant the exemptions to them as well. Um, they give minus 5 trade efficiency or do this one we lose money we'll be revoked from yeah 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 okay so we get rid of it now right we can get rid of this thing here Uh, but we do get some modifiers. Maybe we should do this, but we do get the mercenary cost minus 25%. But we have already recruited... We have already we already have our mercenaries, so the cost doesn't matter. The trade efficiency goes from minus ten to minus five. Uh, we will lose twenty five percent global trade power, and mercenaries will become very expensive. 
But we will get rid of this thing. Let's get rid of this thing. This should not increase the cost. This should not increase the upkeep cost, right? It's only when you are hiring merchant. That is the uh, cost. But now I'm doubting it. I think they became a little bit more expensive. Well, at least we don't have the penalty anymore for our burger. So that is really helpful. Oh, we only have the uh, Reliance on Republics uh, thing left here. This is going to fix itself over time. Huh. Uh, the Ottomans are still at war with Trebizond. They are not sieging down this thing, I think. Or they are sieging it down. Yeah, they are. So yeah, we are not getting attacked in the second episode. It takes a really long time for the AI Ottomans to, to actually attack on us, so... Not sure what the deal is here. I'm even losing money. I can still do this thing. Uh, we lost a marriage. Let's get that marriage back. There we go. And let's keep improving of my vassal, so we can annex them hopefully next uh, next year. I hope so at least. And I will be back to you guys uh, when something happens. Okay, we have uh, maxed out our relations with the Mamluks and we are not even close to getting an alliance, but at least we have the relations up. It's going to be really difficult to get more alliances. We do have Hungary, which is fantastic. But no one wants to help us. They have good attitude to the enemy. For some reason. And distant war. So we really want the Ottomans to declare war on us. That is what we need. That's not going to happen until they are done with this war. So let's improve with, uh, with QQ over here. And just let the game run. And I think I'm going to um, end this episode here. So it's a very slow start. Normally we would have uh, had the war with the Ottomans already. But it takes a bit more time this time. Uh, hopefully you're still enjoying this. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, join the Discord, take a look at my Patreon. Um, all the interaction helps with uh, the uh, findability on YouTube. Would really appreciate it if you do so. And I see you hopefully in part number three. Bye bye.